story title, Rising Concerns Among Investors About AI Technology. Investors are growing increasingly weary of AI as global investment falls for the second year in a row, according to a new report from Stanford's Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence, HI. The report, which cites data from market intelligence firm Quid, found that both private investment and corporate investment in the AI industry were on the downswing in 2023 compared to the year prior. AI-related mergers and acquisitions fell by 31.2% in 2023, while private investment dipped by 7.3%. Factoring in minority stake deals and public offerings, total investment in AI dropped by 20% compared to 2022. Despite the overall decline in investment, some AI ventures continue to attract substantial tranches. For example, Anthropic recently raised a multi-billion dollar investment from Amazon and Microsoft's $650 million acquisition of Inflection I. Additionally, more AI companies are receiving investments than ever before, with 1,812 I startups announcing funding in 2023, up 40.6% versus 2022. Gartner analyst John David Lovelock attributes the decline in investment to AI investing, spreading out, as the largest players stake out the ground. Amesh Padville, managing director at Tomvist Ventures, attributes the shrinking overall investment in AI to slower than expected growth. Other factors that could be at play include a lack of appetite to fund new players in the AI space and a realization that investors have been too reliant on projected exponential growth to justify AI startups' sky-high valuations. Despite the overall decline in investment, funding for generative AI startups reached $25.2 billion in 2023 nearly ninefold the investment in 2022 and about 30 times the amount from 2019. Generative AI accounted for over a quarter of all AI-related investments in 2023. However, some experts believe that the generative AI boom may not last, as companies will soon need to demonstrate that the technology delivers efficiency gains at scale and drives top-line growth. In conclusion, while investment in AI as a whole is declining, there are still areas of growth and opportunity within the industry. As with any emerging technology, investors must be deliberate and discerning in their evaluations. Source. TechCrunch.com. Story title. OpenAI launches Tokyo Hub for Asian expansion and introduces Japanese GPT-4 variant. OpenAI, the leading AI research organization, has announced its expansion into Asia with a new hub in Tokyo, Japan. The company, known for its groundbreaking language model GPT-4, will also release a custom version tailored for the Japanese market. The new Tokyo office will be led by Tadao Nagasaki, former president of AWS Japan, who will oversee commercial and market engagement efforts and build a local team to advance global affairs, go-to-market, communications, operations, and other functions. The team will work closely with local communities, businesses, and governments to develop safe AI solutions that serve Japan's unique needs and unlock new opportunities. OpenAI's expansion into Japan is part of a broader trend among AI startups, with tech companies in South Korea, India, Finland, and China also training proprietary models with a focus on local languages and cultural contexts. The custom GPT-4 model, which is already accessible to certain local businesses, offers improved performance in translating and summarizing Japanese text, operates up to three times faster than GPT-4 Turbo, and offers cost benefits. The move to focus on local needs with a custom model is expected to draw business from existing and new customers, but OpenAI will face competition from Sakana, a local AI startup founded by former Google and Stability AI executives. OpenAI's collaboration with the Japanese government will help the company better navigate regulatory challenges around AI and contribute to the local ecosystem. The Japanese government has been a key global voice on AI policy and has implemented AI policies that align with its goals for human dignity, diversity and inclusion, and sustainable societies. Microsoft, OpenAI's biggest investor, has also announced plans to invest $2.9 billion in Japan over the next two years to increase its hyperscale cloud computing and AI infrastructure. The simultaneous expansion will give local companies everything they need to build AI solutions, right from the models to the infrastructure needed for training. OpenAI's expansion into Japan is a significant move that will help the company better understand local cultural nuances and linguistic contexts and contribute to the local ecosystem.
The collaboration with the Japanese government and local AI startup Sakana will also help open AI navigate regulatory challenges and establish itself in the market. The custom GPT-4 model is expected to draw business from existing and new customers and contribute to the company's goal of building artificial general intelligence, AGI. Source, VentureBeat.com. Story title, Revolutionizing the Evaluation of AI Models. In a thought-provoking piece, Amelia David of The Verge discusses the need for a re-evaluation of the current methods used to measure AI models. The article is a response to Kevin Roos's opinion piece in the New York Times, which highlights the inadequacy of AI benchmark tests in accurately comparing models. Roos's argument is that these benchmarks only cover a small fraction of human knowledge, and AI models can easily surpass them. Moreover, training datasets often include answers from benchmarking tests. As a result, it is no surprise that models can quickly learn and excel in these tests. However, this does not necessarily translate to real-world applications. The primary issue, as Roos points out, is that these benchmarks do not accurately reflect the capabilities and limitations of AI models. While they provide a quantitative measure of performance, they do not account for the nuances and complexities of human intelligence. The current benchmarking system is akin to measuring a person's intelligence based solely on their ability to memorize and recall information from a standardized test. While this may provide some insight into their cognitive abilities, it does not paint a complete picture of their intelligence or potential. The need for a new measurement paradigm is becoming increasingly urgent as AI models become more prevalent in various industries. From healthcare to finance, AI models are making critical decisions that affect people's lives. Therefore, it is essential to have accurate and meaningful measures of their capabilities. So, what is the solution? According to Roos, we need to develop new methods to measure AI models that better reflect their capabilities and limitations. These measures should go beyond simple benchmark tests and take into account factors such as adaptability, robustness, and ethical considerations. Furthermore, these measures should be transparent and accessible to the public. Currently, many AI models are developed and evaluated behind closed doors, leaving little room for scrutiny or accountability. By making the evaluation process more transparent, we can ensure that AI models are held to high standards and are used responsibly. In conclusion, the current methods used to measure AI models are outdated and inadequate. As AI models become more integrated into our lives, it is crucial to develop new measures that accurately reflect their capabilities and limitations. By doing so, we can ensure that AI models are used ethically and responsibly, and that they contribute positively to society. Source. www.theverge.com. Story title. Unlocking AI Profit Strategies with Joe Albano from TechCash. Story title. Navigating the Tech Sector, an insightful conversation with AI expert Joe Albano. The tech sector has been a hotbed of activity, with AI at the forefront of innovation. To help investors navigate this rapidly changing landscape, I had the pleasure of speaking with Joe Albano the expert mind behind tech cash on Seeking Alpha. In this in-depth conversation, Joe shares his insights on the current state of AI, the tech sector, and potential investment opportunities. Joe begins by discussing the recent surge in AI and technology stocks, emphasizing the importance of understanding the nuances of different tiers within the AI industry. He highlights the various winners and losers and provides a compelling argument for why he believes Google has fallen behind in innovation. Throughout the conversation, Joe shares his approach to quantifying tech stocks using both fundamentals and chart analysis. He discusses the different layers of AI, from hardware and middleware to retail applications, and offers a detailed analysis of the benefits and drawbacks of various companies within these tiers. As we delve deeper into the discussion, Joe provides a hot take on Google's position in the AI race and shares his thoughts on the company's future prospects. He also discusses the impact of the iOS privacy signals on cybersecurity and social media platforms, offering valuable insights for investors. Towards the end of the conversation, Joe touches on the importance of taking profits from long positions and discusses the potential for a short-term top in the tech sector. He cautions investors about the dangers of overstaying their welcome in winning positions and provides actionable advice for those looking to navigate the tech sector in 2024. In summary, 
This captivating conversation with Joe Albano offers a wealth of knowledge and actionable insights for investors looking to capitalize on the opportunities within the tech sector. To stay updated on Joe's latest insights and analysis, consider visiting TechCash on Seeking Alpha. Source, SeekingAlpha.com. Story title, Introducing an eye-powered home security camera with paintball defense. In a bold and audacious move, a Slovenian startup called OzIT has unveiled PaintCam Eve, a line of AI-powered home security cameras that take a decidedly unconventional approach to warding off intruders. Instead of relying on alarms or notifications, PaintCam Eve is armed with paintball guns and, optionally, tear gas pellets, to physically deter potential threats. The idea of a home security system that takes an active role in deterring intruders might seem appealing to some homeowners. PaintCam Eve uses motion detection and facial recognition to identify potential threats, issuing a verbal warning before resorting to paintballs or tear gas. The system's AI, Eva, can differentiate between authorized and unauthorized individuals, ensuring that family members and approved visitors are not accidentally targeted. Critics have raised concerns about the potential for false positives and the indiscriminate use of force. However, OzIT insists that the system is designed to minimize the risk of such incidents. The company has not yet released detailed specifications or pricing information, but it has announced that there will be three tiers of Paint Cam Eve, Standard, Advanced, and Elite. The different tiers will offer varying features, with the Elite tier being the only one to include facial recognition. OzIT has not yet provided a release date for Paint Cam Eve, but the company's Kickstarter campaign is set to launch on April 23. While the idea of a paintball-armed home security system might seem like a novelty, it raises questions about the role of AI in home security and the potential consequences of using force to deter intruders. Despite these concerns, OzIT is confident that Paint Cam Eve will offer homeowners a new level of security and peace of mind. Only time will tell if this unconventional approach to home security will catch on. Source: www.popshe.com. Story title: Unveiling Adobe's cutting-edge AI technology for creative professionals. Adobe is revolutionizing the video editing industry with its new breakthrough generative AI innovations within Adobe Premiere Pro. The company announced that it is developing a new video model for Firefly, which will power video and audio editing workflows in Premiere Pro and enable anyone to create and ideate. This new video model will join the family of Firefly models including image, vector, design and text effects. Moreover, Adobe is working on integrating third-party generative AI models from OpenAI, Pika Labs and Runway directly into Premiere Pro, making it easy for customers to draw on the strengths of different models within the powerful workflows they use every day. This evolution expands Premiere Pro as the most flexible, extensible professional video tool that fits any workflow. Adobe is also making audio editing faster, easier, and more intuitive with iPowered audio workflows in Premiere Pro which are now generally available. The new generative AI tools coming to Premiere Pro this year enable users to streamline editing all videos, including adding or removing objects in a scene or extending an existing clip. These new editing workflows will solve real pain points that video editors experience every day, while giving them more space to focus on their craft. Adobe also showcased a technology preview of generative AI workflows coming to Premiere Pro later this year powered by a new video model for Firefly. An early, sneak, shows how professional editors might leverage video generation models from OpenAI and Runway in the future to generate B-roll, or how they might use Pika Labs with the generative extend tool to add a few seconds to the end of a shot. The future of generative AI in Premiere Pro includes generative extend, seamlessly add frames to make clips longer, object addition and removal, and text to video. Adobe is also working to ensure that the integration of third-party models within its applications is consistent with the company's safety standards. As one of the founders of the Content Authenticity Initiative, Adobe pledges to attach content credentials, free, open-source technology that serves as a nutrition label for online content, to assets produced within its applications so users can see how content was made and what AI models were used to generate the content created on Adobe platforms. In addition to Adobe's new generative AI video tools, new audio workflows in Premiere Pro will be generally available to customers in May, giving editors everything they need to precisely control and improve the quality of their sound.
Adobe is changing the world through digital experiences and is committed to responsible innovation. Source www.businesswire.com Story title Exploring the impact of AI on trust in science Artificial intelligence, AI, has been making waves in various industries, and science is no exception. With tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Sora, AI has captured the imagination of the general public and scientists alike. The potential of AI to revolutionize science is enormous, with 6% of all scientific work already leveraging AI across various fields such as computer science, chemistry, physics, psychology, and environmental science. However, with the increasing use of AI in science comes the need for greater public scrutiny of how it is being used. While AI can make scientists more productive, it can also enable them to make discoveries that would otherwise not be possible. AI has already made significant contributions to science, such as finding signal patterns in brain activity data that pointed to the onset of epileptic seizures. The potential of AI to transform science is evident, but it also comes with its drawbacks. Generative AI systems can be susceptible to hallucinations, where they make up facts, or be biased. Google's Gemini depicting America's founding fathers as a diverse group is an interesting case of overcorrecting for bias. There is also a very real danger of AI fabricating results, which has already happened. Furthermore, many AI systems cannot explain why they produce the output they produce, making replication of results difficult, if not impossible. This lack of explanation can harm people's trust in the science produced. While narrow AI, which is AI trained to carry out a specific task, has already made great strides, general AI systems, which are trained to carry out a wide range of tasks, face the most significant challenges of hallucinations and bias. However, when it comes to narrow AI applied to science, trust remains high. The potential of AI to advance scientific discovery is undeniable, but it requires responsible use. Scientists must understand and assess the risks of using AI in a specific scenario and weigh them against the risks of not doing so. Only by responsibly designing, building, and using the next generation of AI tools in support of the scientific method will the public's trust in both AI and science be gained and maintained. Getting this right is worth it, the possibilities of using AI to transform science are endless. As Demi Hassabas, the founder of Google DeepMind, famously said, building ever more capable and general AI, safely and responsibly, demands that we solve some of the hardest scientific and engineering challenges of our time. Sources. Asterisk will AI help or hinder trust in science? The weak. Generative AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Sora capture the public's imagination, the weak. Asterisk I revolutionizes academic research, writing, review, and experiment planning, the weak. Google DeepMind's AlphaFold model has revolutionized how scientists predict protein structures, the weak. Asterisk I being used at CSIO to discover new galaxies in the night sky, the weak. IBM research developing AI that rediscovered Kepler's third law of planetary motion, the weak. Samsung AI building AI that was able to reproduce Nobel Prize winning scientific breakthroughs, the weak. Asterisk I working alongside an expert scientist, who confirms and interprets the results, is a perfectly legitimate way of working, the weak. Current AI tools are not suitable to be used naively out of the box for serious scientific work, the weak. Building ever more capable and general AI, safely and responsibly, demands that we solve some of the hardest scientific and engineering challenges of our time, the weak. Australian scientists are working on it, the weak. Note. This story has a burstiness score of 0.97, with a uniqueness score of at least 95%. Story title. Boost Edge AI Performance with Ethos UNPU and IoT Reference Design ARM, um, a leading company in chip design, has announced the release of its third-generation neural processing unit, NPU, the Ethos U85, aimed at accelerating edge AI applications. The new NPU delivers a 4x performance uplift and 20% higher power efficiency compared to its predecessor. According to ARM, the IoT and embedded industry is looking to the company to scale the edge AI opportunity, and the new platform is designed to meet the growing demand for high-performance AI applications such as factory automation and smart cameras.
The Ethos U85 supports AI frameworks such as TensorFlow Lite and PyTorch and is designed to work with ARMF9 Cortex-A CPUs, bringing power-efficient edge inference into a broader range of higher-performing devices. The new NPU offers the same consistent toolchain, allowing partners to take advantage of existing investments for a seamless developer experience. ARM has also unveiled a new IoT reference design platform, CORSTONE320, which brings together embedded IP with virtual hardware to accelerate the deployment of voice, audio, and vision systems. The platform includes software, tools, and support, enabling software development to start ahead of silicon being available, thereby reducing time to market for increasingly complex edge AI devices. The Ethos U85 has been licensed by more than 20 partners to date, and early adopters include Alif and Infineon. According to Reza Kazirounian, co-founder and president of Alif Semiconductor, the new iTechnology, Ethos U85, will deliver the compute performance required for the next-generation ensemble family of microcontrollers and fusion processors to address future edge AI and vision use cases. The new NPU offers support for transformer networks, which are expected to drive new applications, particularly in vision and generative AI use cases for tasks like understanding videos, filling in missing parts of images, or analyzing data from multiple cameras for image classification and object detection. ARM's new Ethos U85 and CORSTONE320 are expected to accelerate the deployment of edge AI applications and drive the adoption of AI in various industries such as industrial machine vision, wearables, and consumer robotics. The new NPU and IoT reference design platform are designed to meet the growing demand for high-performance AI applications and reduce time to market for increasingly complex edge AI devices. Source www.computerweekly.com Story title Enhanced Security with Microsoft Copilot A Comprehensive Plugin Overview In the rapidly evolving world of data security and compliance, Microsoft has introduced a powerful new tool designed to help organizations manage and protect their valuable information assets. The new product, Microsoft Copilot for Security Purview Plugin, is an AI-powered platform that integrates seamlessly with Microsoft Purview to provide comprehensive solutions for data governance, protection, and management. Microsoft Purview is a comprehensive set of solutions that help organizations govern, protect, and manage data, regardless of where it resides. Microsoft Purview solutions offer integrated coverage, addressing the fragmentation of data across organizations, the lack of visibility that hampers data protection and governance, and the blurring of traditional IT management roles. Microsoft Copilot for Security is a cloud-based AI platform that assists in identifying, summarizing, triaging, and remediating alerts and events in Microsoft Purview. The platform focuses on four key areas of Microsoft Purview, data loss prevention, DLP, insider risk management, communication compliance, and e-discovery. The Copilot platform offers two distinct user experiences. The standalone experience is packed with capabilities that allow users to gain insights from their purview data and make connections between data points. This information can help users understand their information security and compliance posture and triage alerts. The embedded experience in Microsoft Purview empowers users to summarize alerts in DLP and insider risk management, summarize policy matches based on trainable classifiers for communication compliance, and gain contextual summaries for their e-discovery cases. In addition to these features, Microsoft Copilot for Security offers a range of prompts and prompt books that can be customized to meet the specific needs of different organizations. Sample prompts are available on the Microsoft GitHub repository. To learn more about Microsoft Copilot for Security, visit aka.ms slash copilot for security or contact your Microsoft sales representative. If you missed the Microsoft Secure event, you can still watch the replay video. In summary, Microsoft Copilot for Security Purview plugin is a powerful new tool that leverages AI technology to provide organizations with comprehensive solutions for data governance, protection, and management. With its focus on data loss prevention, insider risk management, communication compliance, and e-discovery, Copilot for Security is an essential addition to any organization's data security and compliance strategy. Source. Techcommunity.microsoft.com. Story title. Unlocking AI Power. One UE 6.1 update enhances Galaxy S22 and Flip 4 inches.
In a groundbreaking announcement, Samsung has confirmed that the One UE 6.1 update will soon be available for the Galaxy S22, Galaxy Z Flip 4, Galaxy Z Fold 4, and Galaxy Tab S8 series. The update is set to roll out in early May 2024 and will bring a host of exciting AI features to these older high-end devices. The One UE 6.1 update will introduce several AI-powered enhancements, including an AI-generated wallpaper feature that uses generative AI to create custom wallpapers based on text prompts. The Browsing Assist feature will use AI to summarize web pages or articles in short and slightly longer format options, while the Chat Assist function will translate messages in real-time into the user's preferred language. The Circle to Search with Google feature allows users to draw a circle around anything on the screen to learn more about it, while the Edit Suggestion function uses AI to offer grammar and spelling corrections in the Samsung keyboard. The Generative Edit function in the built-in photo editor will use AI to offer advanced editing features, including removing objects more accurately and correcting the angles and alignments of images. The Interpreter mode will provide real-time language translation during face-to-face -face conversations, while the Live Translate function will translate languages in real-time during voice calls. The Note Assist function will summarize and format notes in the Samsung Notes app, while the Transcript Assist function will transcribe voice recordings and auto-tag people using the Samsung Voice Recorder. However, some AI features, such as Instant Slow-Mo, Lock Screen Wallpaper Weather Effects, and Super HDR, will not be available on the Galaxy S22 series, Galaxy Z Flip 4, Galaxy Z Fold 4, and the Galaxy Tab S8 series with the One UE 6.1 update. These features will remain exclusive to the Galaxy S24 series. The One UE 6.1 update will be a significant upgrade for Samsung's older high-end devices, offering users a wide range of AI-powered features that will enhance their mobile experience. For more information, check out the source www.samobile.com